Hi, so this worked example is continuing with the uh, worked example 2.1 if practice file. And if you just click on the tab here at the bottom that says more ifs, we're going to write some more complicated if statements to calculate an employee's um, benefits. And so uh, the first benefit that we're going to look at is their retirement contribution. And it says here in the notes that a an employee is only eligible for retirement contributions if they Ha are a full-time employee, and we can see employee status over here in column B, who has been employed at least two years. So this first thing, the first thing that we want to do is just calculate how long the employee has been working there. And so the way to do that is to use a function called today. So in parentheses, we're going to put today, and we're going to subtract from that the day the employee was hired. And so that will get uh, in, in Google Sheets, that will calculate how many days the employee has been, re has been employed. So if I hit enter, I can see that this uh, employee has been there around 1,700 days. And so to get how many years they've been employed, I want to put divided by 365. So if I put that in there, I see that that employee uh, has been there for uh, 4.9 years. And I should be able to just take the fill handle here and copy this down the column and get how long each of the employees has been employed. And we see we have some that have been employed much longer than two years and some that have been employed uh, less. So now we want to calculate their uh, retirement contribution, which is 4%, but it's only applicable to employees who, who have been who are full-time and who have been employed for at least two years. So here's an example of where we need to use the uh, logical and function. So I'm going to say equals if, and then I'm going to say and, and put the two conditions that I want to check. So I want to check to make sure that if their employment status in cell B2 is equal to full time, so if they're a full time employee, and then I just put a comma. So the way the and works is you just list all the conditions that you want to check with commas in between. So if they're full time and the number of years that they've been employed here in F2 is greater than or equal to two, if they've been employed at least two years, I'm going to close those parentheses for the and, then they are eligible for the retirement contribution. So in which case I want to take their salary and multiply it times the retirement benefit. And I do the retirement benefit. I'm going to click down here. Now I want to be able to copy this formula down the column. So that means I need to use absolute cell addressing. So I can type in dollar signs or I can use the F4 key to um, get the uh, absolute addressing mode for that cell in cell C13. So Otherwise, I want to just put zero in that cell. So the false part is zero. If they don't, um, if they haven't been there two years or they haven't been employed full time um, or both, then they're not eligible for retirement. So if I hit enter here, I see that this first employee isn't eligible. While they've been there at least two years, they're part time. So that makes sense. So I'm going to, again, just drag this down the column. And let's check and see if these results make sense. So here's a full-time employee, but they haven't been employed for two years. Here's a full-time employee who has been employed for over two years. Same here, here. If I look at this one, they're part-time, even though they've been there more than two years, full-time, um, over two years, and so forth. So that looks good. And now we're going to do one more if statement. And this if statement is um, to determine the cost of the employee's health plan. So, um, and if I look in this table down here, I see if they've chosen the family health plan, then the cost is $10,000. If they've chosen the individual health plan, the cost is $8,000. And then it's also possible that they've chosen some other plan. They're getting their, employee, their uh, health insurance some other way, in which case we're not going to charge them because they're not getting it through the company. So this is going to require a nested if statement because we're checking multiple conditions. So here we're just going to say if they're the health plan they've chosen is, now in this case, I could just say equal and put in double quotes family, 
but if I want to uh, make my uh, spreadsheet a little more uh, flexible so that perhaps if those health plan names change later, it would still work, then I'm going to refer to the cell instead. So I'm just going to uh, click down there. And again, this needs to be absolute addressing because I want it to work when I copy it down the column. So F4. So if it's equal to family, then the cost is the cost associated with family. And again, absolute addressing so that it'll work when I copy it down. Otherwise, I want to see if it's the individual plan. And again, click down here, F4. If it's the individual plan, oh, I should say if C2. If C2, oop, messed up here. If C2 is equal to the uh, individual plan, then I want to charge them the individual amount. So here I'm going to click F4 again. Use absolute addressing. Otherwise, I'm not going to charge them anything because it means they have their own plan. And make sure that you've closed your parentheses here and hit enter. So I see that this employee that shows in the family plan is getting charged $10,000. Let's copy it down the column and make sure that here we have someone with the individual plan, $8,000. Here we have somebody that has an, an other plan who isn't being charged anything. So that all looks okay. So those are some examples of some more complex if statements using the logical and and a nested if statement. Again, the solutions are in the final sheet here, the more if solutions, if you want to check those out and look at the formulas um, and compare them with your answers, uh, you can do that as well.